New York Attorney General Letitia James getting booed today in New York City. Her lawsuit led to former President Trump's fine of more than 300, well over $350 million at this point in the civil fraud trial. He is appealing and he says he did nothing wrong. Watch what happened when James spoke at the fire department uh, promotion ceremony today at a church in Brooklyn. <laughs> Oh, come on, we're in a house of God. <laughs> First, um, simmer down. I want to thank Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief Hodgins for that recognition. Oh, you know who's going to love that? <laughs> <laughs> um, FDNY Chief of Department John Hodgins telling Fox Quote today's ceremony was about one thing, the accomplishment of the members being promoted, the members whose, whose, pay, whose behavior, excuse me, distracted from that celebration were an embarrassment and not befitting of the world's best mm. fire department. And indeed, they are. And we congratulate all of those who got promoted today. Um, and we thank them for the hard work they do every day in New York City. All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again with the two women that is trying to get some money out of Donald Trump, which I find very, very ridiculous. Letitia James is definitely the one that needs to be investigated. Like, she literally needs to be investigated immediately, and I'm dead serious. This woman is so freaking corrupt. Up, I mean, she went on a campaign talking about how she was going to get Donald Trump, how she was going to sue him, how she was going to get money out of him, how she's going to try to make his life a living you know what. This is crazy. Her and that corrupt judge in Goron. I mean, both of them are just corrupt. And now, this one right here is coming by Doug. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go over to Doug's channel. Let him know that a dog sent you, all right? Because, like I said, I really feel like they're going to lose these appeals. I, I really do. And now he, they said that a uh, new Trump strategy to beat E. Jean Carroll and Letitia James. And then Doug went on to say that uh, Letitia James and E. Jean Carroll still might not get paid if Trump can just pay for an appeal by leveraging his properties. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this and let's see exactly what Donald Trump's strategy is to not have to pay and one of them because we know E. Jean Carroll just she's lying. You can't go in the courtroom and don't remember nothing and turn around and just win $83 million. That's crazy to me. But let's go, y'all. Seeing Carroll's money and the money that Letitia James is demanding out of Trump. We need to protect Judge and Gorin. We need to protect his protect clerk. Him. We need to protect Tish James. What? We need to protect E. Jean Carroll. We need to protect what? her lawyers. We need to protect the jurors. We need to protect Fonnie Willis. And some of you have given me a little bit of questions like, what do you mean the, the amount of money they're asking for doesn't really matter compared to Trump winning the presidency? Because Trump has so many different avenues to get that 400 million, even 500 million to pay off these fake legal debts, they're not a threat to him. And, that, and this is while he still goes to appeal is his first case is to get them dismissed, obviously. But even if he had to pay him, it wouldn't be a big deal. So let's go to this article and I'll make my case on just one line of credit on how he'll be able to repay or pay at least the, the, the start of the E. Jean Carroll and the Letitia James charges so that he'll be able to make his appeal. Clean property private lenders could be Trump's best option to get $540 million for legal judgments. This is over on CNBC. Donald Trump is racing to stave off a pair of civil penalties totaling nearly $540 million without having to first put up the full amounts in cash or bonds. The former president's lawyers claim that he would face irreparable harm if required to fully secure his judgments in order to keep them from coming due and might even have to quickly sell off properties that, that can't be rebought. Um, and then once Trump Tower is gone with, and they get the appeal and they say, yeah, you're right, Letitia James overreached and the E. Jean Carroll too much money. But thanks for selling off Trump Tower. Now you can't go buy it back. See the kind of damages that can happen? Letitia James! <laughs> 
Letitia James, how does it feel to sell out the country? Letitia James, how does it how's it to sell out the country? Do you feel good selling out the country, Letitia James? Damn, quality for all, you're a sellout. You're a George Soros puppet, you're a sellout. You're a sellout, you're a George Soros puppet. Quote, no one, including Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and Donald Trump, has $500 million just laying around, unquote, Trump's attorney Chris Keist told an appeals court judge last week. That's re absolutely true, absolutely reasonable. But legal experts say there's another option that Trump's lawyers haven't mentioned in the court filings. Trump could offer up some of his properties as collateral to borrow what he needs, potentially from private equity sources. So he could go to a bunch of businessmen, put his properties up, put Trump Tower up as collateral. Uh, so it buys him time to move money around. Right. There are lots of private lenders out there in the debt markets and private equity markets that could lend to Trump, said Columbia University law professor Eric Talley. In all cases, the loans would probably have to be secured with Trump properties, but if there's enough equity in some of them, he should be able to obtain secured credit, even on a compressed timeline. If you're going to lend out $400 million, if you're a company that does that, and that's, they're in the business of doing that, who better to lend to than Trump? Letitia James has shown her stripes. Yep. We know who she is right now, but just in case, to male, to pale, this woman is gross. He's called me venomous. We will fight back to your attempt to bring Trumpism to New York City. He's called me disgraceful. Why would you have any faith in our system in light of the likes of Letitia James? The professor underscored the irony of Trump using his real Crazy. estate to fight a lawsuit in which he was found liable for fraudulently inflating his property values for financial gain. This is why this article is so great and important. It proves how wrong Letitia James is that says he just inflated his property values. Then Trump's going to go to a bank and they're going to make an assessment of his, what his property value is to loan him money. And there's an actual value there that's enough to cover the cost that mm -hmm. Trump is being charged to repay New York that's supposed to be fraud. Yes. <laughs> it proves that Letitia James committed fraud and Trump is telling the truth about his property's value if he pays this debt. Her whole point is that it's overvalued and he ripped them off by that amount. Okay. Yeah, and we already know that Letitia James and Judge Garner was lying the whole time. That's the reason why I said I hope this crap backfires on Letitia James so bad. She up here, like, it, it just made a lot of us mad. The way she was just sitting in that courtroom, y'all know how it is. Like, if you already know that the judge you got is going to rule against the person you're going against, all she was doing was staring at Trump smiling in the courtroom. Every time they put the camera on her, she's just sitting there laughing and smiling because she already knew what the judge was going to do to Donald Trump. She already knew that. And like I said, she's the fraud. But like I said, even if Donald Trump put the money up and he win, he, I'm pretty sure he gets, he gets his money back. But this woman, Letitia James, she needs to be the one that's investigated. She needs to be the one going to jail. Look how corrupt this woman is. You heard what the guy in the crowd called her, Joe Soros' puppet. Y'all heard him. Nobody likes Letitia James. And then you got Rachel Maddow at the beginning of the video talking about, oh, we need to protect Judge and Goron at all costs. We need to protect Le uh, Letitia James. We need to protect. You talking about all the people we need to protect, but these are the same people that's going after Donald Trump. Protect them for what? Judge and Gore run Letitia Jane trying to make Donald Trump pay 400 some million dollars. And you talking about protect them? Like, it just don't make no sense. Like, so I understand if somebody don't like somebody, but be fair about it. Call it down the middle, whether you like them or not. Call it down the middle and say, you know what? Okay, I don't like Donald Trump, but I, I got to give it to him. You know, Letitia Jane's them, they wrong for that. Like, these people can't even do that. They hate Donald Trump so bad that it, it don't matter what Letitia Jane, it don't matter what Fannie Willis, it don't matter what Jack Smith, none of these people do to this man. We need to protect them, though. <laughs> this is just ridiculous.
And E. Jean Carroll up here bragging about what she going to do with the money when she get it. She already going on TV talking to Rachel Maddow and them talking about, I'm going to buy you some. I'm going to buy you some. I can't wait till I get that money. And it's, it's just crazy. Judge Kaplan went against uh, Donald Trump. He didn't like Donald Trump. He didn't even want Donald Trump to go to his own mother-in-law funeral. It, it just It's crazy. That's why I said, I hope Donald Trump don't have to pay a dime to Letitia James and E. Jean Carroll. I hope you don't have to pay a dime to them. I want us to be the last one laughing. Because I can't wait. Just, just wait till that happens. Boy, the video I'm going to make on that is going to be explosive. Any loans, quote, would themselves involve making declarations of the value of the property. And that, of course, is what got him into this mess to begin with, unquote, said Tally. But so it would be funny if Trump paid off, you know, was able to pay that that bond for $500 million to New York. And then they also they took him to court again for overvaluing his properties. See how fake New York is? But accurately appraising the value of Trump's assets is not a serious obstacle, as Trump's lawyers noted during the fraud trial. The institutions that have lent him money already have conducted their own analysis of Trump's finances and did not rely solely on the claims at issue in the financial statements. A more important factor could be whether Trump's real estate assets are already mortgaged, said the professor John Coffey, quote, he would have to come up with the clean real estate property that is not already securing something that some other bank has a lien on, Coffey said. Does he have that property? I can't tell you. I can. He does. He has properties in all stages of lending and being paid off. In New York City, the value of Trump's real estate holdings totals $690 million, according to a September 2023 estimate by Forbes. And some of the most prominent buildings um, that bear Trump's name in that city are largely owned by other entities. So he's just a mm. brand that they're allowed to put his name on right. you know, while they build the building and they pay him a royalty. New York Attorney General Letitia James, who brought the fraud case, said he she would seize Trump's real estate assets if he cannot pay his civil penalty. Quote, there's absolutely no reason for the New York attorney general to be kind and gentle to him if he doesn't post bond, Coffee said. They instead offered to post a $100 million bond, but New York appeals court judge Anil Singh rejected the proposal. Again, they're just trying to abuse him. This yeah, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to abuse him, exactly. The man was willing to put up a $100 million bond, and they refused. It's just great. $100 million. That just goes to show you how corrupt these people is. He wouldn't have put up a $100 million bond, and they still rejected it. And then you got Letitia James going on Twitter, which, what they call X now, um, making it seem like she didn't sold Donald Trump property already. Just being crazy, being stupid. And this is what we got to deal with. Man, man, man. This is not justice, guys. Unless a full appeals court reverses Singh's decision, Trump has until March 25th to post an, quote, undertaking cash or bonds covering the entire penalty in order to stop it from taking effect during his appeal. Trump has also asked a federal judge to delay another fast approaching deadline to pay $83 million penalty to E. Jean Carroll's civil defamation case. Carroll's attorneys argued that Trump's request, quote, boils down to nothing more than trust me. If Trump does attempt to sell assets to meet his undertaking, he won't have much time to get it done. He would have to hire a broker to market his properties. And any deal would have to close in order to free up the cash to use toward a bond, said Neil Peterson, owner of New York-based bond. So the E. Jean Carroll and Letitia James um, that you're supposed to pay to. So this is bad news for them, and this is good news for Trump. But even if he has to pay it, guys, him being president, he can make another $400, $500 million to cover for it. it he won't go without this money. Okay. Yep. He may pay it to these fraudsters, which I highly doubt. I doubt they'll get half of it. I actually think they'll get maybe a third at the most. I'm Right. I, I agree with the same thing. But, you know, I, I don't think if he do have to pay, I don't see him paying no E.G. care, no $83 million. 
I mean, you know, you get these corrupt judges to just throw them prices up there to try to make it harder for Trump to pay it just so they can try to seize his properties and stuff like that. This whole this whole thing is just straight bull crap, though, man. Just straight bull crap. And we know it. Me personally, I hope you don't have to pay a dime. But the way the system is set up, the way they're going against Donald Trump, they're going to try to make him pay something. Uh, look, man, this, this is crazy. I just hope Letitia Jane get investigated and she go to court next. She be in the same hot spot that Fannie Willis is in. And I can't wait for it. I'm going to make a video every single day she's being investigated. And I can't wait. But like I said, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.